Okay. Well, we've had a lot of emails, but there's a particular question that says, why J Rock? Well, I mean, to answer that question, you have to, like, understand J Rock. I mean, you gotta understand it's a. It, it wants to be a, a movement. Like, um, like in the 50s, I, when you had Elvis. Elvis was a movement. There, there was a rock movement. Well, the same thing, I think. Um, it's something new. Um, a lot of people are looking for something new. Something to connect to. Something that they need. Well, a lot of, uh, some people think that J-Rock's that movement. It's moved a lot of people that I can think of. Um, it has a it has a lot of inner beauty into it. It's just not a whole bunch of men dressing in like women's clothing. It's uh, it's much more than that. It's it's deeper. It's it's an emotional sense. It's a next level of emotional sense. I believe. to exist. Um, it's just now getting out there. I've heard it's in uh, California now. Really big. It's getting really big in California. And, uh, it could be just a matter of time before it hits. But it's, it's getting bigger. It's getting bigger as it, as it goes. Um, the, the purpose for J-Rock is to be be inclined. It's, it's, uh, it's to bring your, your mind to emotional sense of understanding of how you feel. I think that's what it's about. Well, at least for me, that's what I get. It could be many things to other people. I mean, Elvis was of many things to other people. He's still around a lot. In fact, at work, I got a girl there who's like Elvis fan and all I had to do was sing a couple verses, and she's like, you know Elvis. <laughs> but, um, <clears throat> that's what I think, it's a, it's a movement, it's, people are wanting to see something different, it needs to be a, a different way to broadcast emotion. Um, we can't really put a level on emotion because it's it's so dramatic like uh, anything in the laughter the dramatic sea of of a person dying there's you can't really put a limit on that um, it's the undefined um, and there's so many emotions that run through your mind so it's easy um, to uh, Try to contrast that. Try to capture it. I think would be best. And not a lot of J Rock has to deal with emotion. A lot of it's just fun, like the Gothic movement. Uh, it was just fun to dress up that way. And it could be for a lot of people, but for the sense of reality of what emotionally inclined. When you're trying to understand J Rock, I think it's much to a broader approach of that. For instance, I'll talk to, like, uh, an example for a uh, boyfriend and girlfriend. Let's say they fight too much, right? Okay. But well, one's fighting those, like, well, you see that person way too much, or you see that other person way too much. Or, um, just the drama intensity. Well, you know, maybe that guy doesn't exactly know how the girl feels, so girl gets mad, right? Extremely, because she's not emotionally inclined with him, which nobody really is, but I mean, if if you get an understanding of how one feels, then you can understand how they feel. Uh, a lot of times, guys just don't know how girls feel. They just, 
you know, are you okay? And hope to God, you know, you're going to be okay. If not, we're going to give you money. And it's like, hey, baby, um, I bought you something, and that's supposed to make her happy? I don't think so. Women like to talk a whole lot and about emotion, about how they feel, because they don't feel exactly how you feel. They got, like, three million things going on in their body that you don't have any idea. Like, their menstrual cycle. You can't imagine how they are unless you've been through. And there's just different things that women go through that you won't understand. Unless perhaps you've grown up with them. Or you had a lot of sisters. <laughs> but, um, I think that's pretty much what it's trying to contrast. Um, it's, it's, it's trying to be a movement. Uh, it could be different with everybody else. I think it can be. I think it can be brought into a height that um, people would understand uh, something different about themselves. Or for instance, it could be different levels. It couldn't just be emotional. It could just like the person, you know, just admire the person for who they are, in which that would be enough. I mean, you're going to see on most J-Rock that they don't incline war. There is no war in J-Rock. A lot of what the J-Rock movement is, is about inner beauty, self. They're trying to show you um, a lot about themselves, and they try to show them what's inside and that's why they dress up because they feel beautiful inside but you can't see that unless they dress up on the outside so that's pretty much why J-Rock it's not a bright and height as men dancing in women's pajamas or clothing it's a much more deeper sense.